Uh, I think the first is I had some really great mentors. I had people like Craig Allen, Jason Bagley, Eric Baldwin, who taught me how to act, how to think, what good ideas look like. I would be nowhere without people who were way better than I was <laughs> trying to teach me uh, how to be good. Um, I think coming to the Brand Center was probably the second one. I know for sure I wouldn't be standing here if I didn't go to the Brand Center. Um, it was, besides meeting my wife and having children, it was probably the best decision I ever made. It led me down a path that there's just no way I could have done anything remotely like I've gotten to do since then without going to the Brand Center. And three, I think, is just hard work. Like, that's it. It's just how many, how much can you do? How, how prolific can you be with the opportunities that you're given? And how many projects can you take on at once? Because you only get so many at-bats as a creative, so getting more and more reps in is really important and working hard when you get them. I think the number one thing that I remind myself is, as I learn this new job of being a creative director is that there's all these pressures on me of, from the client, from the account team, and everybody has different priorities and different things that in their minds makes a project successful or good. But I just have to be the one that like fights for good work. Like at the end of the day, that's, it, it kind of stops on my desk like if good work or bad work leaves the building. So I, just reminding myself and the incredible responsibility of that and terrifying responsibility of that, that it's sort of, you know, there's... I, I can't let bad stuff leave. I think the campaign that I am the saddest about is probably one that I can't tell you about because it's it's owned by somebody else that's that's not me. Um, but it was a campaign that had a large whale and a and that lived in a field with a, with a friend. And that's it. I can't tell you. But I worked with a, a, an amazing art director named Jeff Williams, and we had this campaign that was just something totally new, and to this day I've never seen anything like it, and I just wish we could have made it and because other people could have seen it, and it was so different from any other ad campaign I've ever seen that I think people would have liked it a lot. I don't think it's changed. I think the industry is just more receptive of it now. Like people, back then it was a bit of the wild, wild west and it was more a thing that we were offering that agencies maybe didn't realize that they needed at the time. But now I think most agencies realize that they need people with these kind of capabilities. So I would hope that the program is more focused and that the agencies can know what to do with people that have sort of more digital skill sets because when I went through it was, it, Nobody was asking for that yeah. <laughs> that job to to some extent, except maybe White and Kennedy. So um, I think the industry is caught up with the the forward thinkingness of the brand center. There was a lot. Like I said, I I think I came out of the brand center, and I'm not kidding, a different person than I was when I came in, not just like my abilities, I think I was actually different somehow. But a lot of things didn't make sense that I learned at the brand center until I got into an agency and like, oh, like things clicked that, that somebody had said uh, and it made a lot more sense after I had some context around it. One of them that I go back to a lot is something that Mark Finsky said that was, if somebody can ask you to do something, you shouldn't do it. And what, I think what he meant by that was, if, if, if it's not new, you shouldn't do it. If it's not something that you haven't seen before, then you're wasting years and everyone else's time. Because you're just recreating, you're mimicking something that you've seen instead of trying to create something that no one has seen before. So that has served me pretty well, actually. But it didn't really click until I started working at Wyden, and then it just popped into my head one day, and I was like, oh... I see, he's actually, that was really smart.